Hi there YouTube, uh, Mike here from Pista Monkeys. So my friends Guy and Adam, who are going to have their own YouTube channel, which is going to run in sort of conjunction with this one, um, they're moving down, well Adam already lives in Tomar, uh, Guy is moving from the UK, from Torquay in the UK, which is in the southwest, down. So anyway, uh, Adam's back in the UK at the moment. And um, so what Guy is doing, he's taking his awesome Dodge uh, van very reminiscent of Silence of the Lambs Buffalo Bill if you've ever seen that he's taking that to pick up Adam about an hour and a half away then driving all the way down to Plymouth uh, to catch the ferry to Santander and then drive across to Portugal, to Tomar in fact, which is their final destination. Um, so he's sending me some videos along the way, I'm going to put them together and uh, let's see how it goes. I mean, I must admit, I'm quite interested to see how many miles to the gallon uh, or how many kilometers to the gallon this Dodge actually uh, gets being a, a big sort of, I think it's a V6 motor in it, um, but through Europe at the moment with the fuel prices the way they are, yeah, it's going to be interesting. But uh, yeah, so um, I'll introduce you to Adam and Guy. They're also helping Carla fix her um, Daihatsu. They're coming here hopefully this week, next week, to uh, fix the prop shaft and things like that on the on the Daihatsu, which would be amazing. Um, and they've got some really, really cool projects lined up. Guy's bringing over a GTO, um, and he's also bringing Lancia Delta and some other cool stuff. Uh, Adam has got, uh, he's very much into four his Capri and things like that so it'll be interesting to see um, what projects they're doing what projects coming up and uh, yeah and meet them so um, I hope you enjoy the video hello this is uh, Adam and Guy we're on our way to Portugal uh, we had a, a Dodge van to drive down into until yesterday and now we've got this this which which is an LDV 400 ex military it's absolutely loaded up with shit and loves it so we'll keep you posted of what happens on the way down to Portugal. We're about to get on the ferry. Well, I say about to, knowing these lot, it'll take another two hours. Um, and we'll keep you updated on the next video. So all I can say is this van is an utter babe. Not as much of a babe as me, obviously. It's <laughs> such a babe. Look, I've even let Adam drive. Well, the drive is quite a like, pilot. Wide use of the word, really. <laughs> you kind of roughly point, give us some Hollywood steering. Well, you know, you can do that really, and nothing happens. <laughs> you know, it's a bit jukes of acid. <laughs> Next instalment of the Adam and Guy experience. Here we are at the wonderful Santander in the queue, waiting to uh, get passported and then pay massive amounts of customs for bringing your own stuff into Spain because we're not in the EU anymore. It's a real shame, isn't it? We'll keep you posted when we've uh, given most of our money. So, we made it through Spanish customs uh, after playing an interesting game of poker with them, <coughs> and uh, we lost to the tune of 710 euros. But if they actually knew how much was stuff was in the back, it would have been 10 times that, so they can go and bollock. Uh, we're now somewhere in the Aslan region, I believe. Loads of hills and shit and stuff. Van's doing well, Guy's doing well. He's got his pink sunglasses, so he's happy. Uh, um, and yeah, we're doing right. We're following Suarez Oliver Transport. He seems to know what he's doing. The van is uh, absolutely superb. Oh, one of the pretty cool a tank of fuel left as well. One of the best vehicles oh, that Guy's ever purchased. The best. So we are about. 20 minutes probably to Portugal. Soon be entering Portugal. We're um, going in dry. Oh, I don't know if this is the sunset. Oh, no, it's my sexy glasses. But I'm gonna let you have a look anyway. It's looking romantic. Uh, the LDV is absolutely rolling on like a trooper. Um, temperature hasn't gone above normal ever. Um, it's been Great on fuel, about a tank, but probably done 
three quarters of, and, and 20 quid of a tank to get from Western Supermare to Torquay to Plymouth and then to the border of Portugal. So we've got about 120 clicks to go to get back to Tomar. Maybe another 10 euros will do it. Yeah, we should chuck another cheeky 10 euros in just to uh, be on the safe side. We don't want to run out of fuel 10 minutes from home. Maybe that's a long push. Just take a second to admire the beauty of the LDV convoy. Look at it. Oh, the lines, the styling. I mean, look, 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 look. They, they just don't make them like this anymore. And the paint is it's immaculate. I mean, I've never seen such a good paint job done with a roller. It's a behemoth. Beautiful. That man trying to have sex with me. So, made it to Portugal. It is hot, and I mean hot, but not in the Dodge Child Catcher 250 like I originally planned to. So, the plan was to jump in the Dodge, go up from Torquay, pick Adam up in Western Supermare and all his Capri parts, cruise on down to Plymouth Ferry, down to San and down there, and then drive down to Tomar. However, the Dodge Chrysler Corporation had different ideas and about 20 minutes from Western Supermare, it decided to spit all its gearbox oil out. I think 70 miles an hour was a bit too much for it. Gearbox all got a bit hot, got a bit frothy, overfilled. Puddle of oil on the uh, on the side of the motorway. Um, yeah, that didn't go to plan. So that was the night before we were due to sail. So panic mode. Up in Western, our mate Mark had a good look around and found me for eight hundred quid. This little beauty. Behold, in the shade of an olive tree, no less, sits LDV Convoy. What a beauty. Ex-military, so it's hopefully been looked after. Um, yeah, it's, um, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, it's been rolled, but it's, 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 it's great. Uh, oh, some bastard scratched it. Oh, damn it. It's a beauty. It drove really well. Steering wheel was a little bit mm, Hollywood, a little bit play bus intro, um, but it rolled along nicely. The rear axle, lovely and quiet. It's even got good tires. Oh, look at it, look, they're almost new. It's, it's not bad under here. No silly rot, there's a little bit of rot in the where they normally go, yeah, a bit there. I'll tell you what though, it's, I don't think this has ever been welded. It's had a bit of, um, yeah, it's had a bit of, yeah, a bit of sealer, but, but that's all right. Mind you, I mean, it's no biggie. The um, MOT runs out in about 10 days, but it did the job and, oh, the load space in it, epic. Three days later. It's gonna fall out. Oh no, yes, no. Ooh. But look at this. 
absolutely packed to the gunnels. We've got a lot of stuff in here. Fiberglass, green panels, there's paint in there, there's, oh, there's all sorts of goodies. Oh, but look at this. Yeah, we bought it off some, some hippies. As you can tell by the lovely moon and stars. But, true to their word, they did long journeys in it and they said it never missed a beat. And the old girl never missed a beat. It was an absolute pleasure to drive. However, poor Adam, his driveway, along with Mark's wicked transit, it's starting to look a little bit pikey around here. So here's Mark's transit project. It's a little beauty. Just stashed his wings inside. Mark Wong Capri wings, fiberglass. Um, yeah, it's in pretty good nick. It needs a bit of work, but you know, it's it's of that age. Yeah, it's pretty good. It'd be, uh, be a shame if someone were to rub their balls on it. <laughs> 